I'm going to show you how to connect a male RJ45 connector to a Cat8 cable, which is the fastest internet cable on the market today. So let's dive into it. Wow, that's amazing. So here's the package that it came in. As you can see, it has like four components. It comes with like four components. And also here's the manual are the directions that it came with as well. If you need to pause that, you can. So here's the tools that we're using. To the left is a wire cutter, and to the right is a crimping tool, which I'm only using that to strip the cable. I'm not using that to crimp anything. And we'll talk about that later. But in the middle, those are the components that came out of the male connector bag. So basically, it's very simple. Once you start doing it, you'll get the hang of it. So we're gonna take this Cat8 cable and use this crimping tool to strip the cable. And that's the only reason why I'm using this tool, it's just to strip the cable. Cat8s, you don't have to crimp. And after we strip the cable, we're gonna pull the sleeve out. So you're gonna see a couple layers of shield. And so you pull the outer layer down and what I do is cut cut that off. Some people keep it, but yeah, I cut mine off. So what we're gonna do is add the boot to the cable, which is the bottom piece of the male connector. And that's going to, in a sense, crimp the connector down to the cable. But instead of crimping it, we're just gonna screw it to connect everything together. So after we do that, we're going to start removing the shield that's covering the twisted wires that's inside, which is what we're gonna use to connect to the male connector. So we're untwisting the shield, and as you see, it has color codes, right? So you have the orange, green, blue, and brown. So once we take the shield off, now we're gonna take the copper foil and stick it on the top part of the cable. On one side it has an adhesive. And so my guess is it's there as a shield as well as probably giving it some security once we put the male connector on top of it. All right, that looks good. So we use this component to attach the wires to before we put it inside of the male housing. We are wiring it in a T568B color code. So if you look at the, the labeling on the top part, you see B, you see A. So the B color code is gonna be green, green, white, orange, orange, white. And you just slide it through that placeholder as far down as possible to the cable. Next, we're gonna cut it. And you wanna cut it at the very edge of it. You don't wanna leave any extra wire sticking out. So as you see, it's cut pretty flush to the tip, the end. Next, we're going to do the top part. So the color code for that is gonna be blue, white, blue, brown, white, brown. So it looks like I'm starting with the brown first. So I'm doing a solid brown. And it pushes down into, that, into those clamps. And now I'm doing the brown white. So as you see, the color, the white is solid. But if you're using other wiring, sometimes it, it might show a white wire with a brown stripe. In this case, the cable only shows a solid and a white. So next we're going to do the solid blue, clamping that down into where it needs to be. And then we're gonna do the blue white. So make sure you keep the colors, the twisted wires together so that you can know for sure that you're not mixing it up. So here's the end result of how it should look once you finish placing into that color code component and cutting it 
to where it's flushed inside. Now, after you do that, you pretty much did the hard part. Now we're gonna take the male housing and open it up. So that exposes the white part of the housing that's inside. And that's where the white component that's on a cable will be attached to. As you can see, the two beside each other. We're gonna take that and we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna align it to where both of the pieces connect like a puzzle. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna close the housing, close the male housing, push it down with some force because it's gonna have a little resistance. But next you're gonna pull up that boot that we attached earlier. You're gonna pull it up and then start screwing it onto the metal housing. Now, once it screws in, it's good to go. So they also included a cover just in case you wanna attach it to the end of your RJ45 male connector. Congratulations. You have officially attached a male connector to a KED-A cable. So what I'm gonna do is put the links in the description below so that you can go directly to everything KED-8 related. You can purchase the KED-8 cable as well as the male or female connectors. Or if you want, you can also purchase a KED-8 cable with the male or female end already attached from Amazon. So the KED-8 cable is very different from the KED-5, KED-6, or KED-7s due to the speed that it's able to carry. As I stated earlier, the KED-8 is the fastest on the retail market right now. It can carry speeds as high as 40 gigabytes per second. And just to give you an idea of how fast that is, 40 gigabytes is equivalent to 40,960 megabytes. And megabytes per second is what we use today to determine our internet speed. So here's a quick comparison of the CAT6 versus CAT7 versus the CAT8 internet speeds. As you can see, there's a huge difference. And by purchasing a CAT8, you're pretty much feature-proofing your internet connection because I don't think the internet providers are gonna get anywhere close to matching that speed anytime soon. So you can possibly have this cable for many, many years to come. If you got value out this video, show some love and smash the subscribe, like, and bell notification to get the latest HE content. And wow, that's amazing. That's amazing.